From being under the watchful eye of Anna Wintour to cleaning up his own vomit in front of 24,000 spectators, there truly is no sport like tennis to elevate a player to dizzying heights only to bring him crashing back down. Jack Draper's greatest run at the U.S. Open came to an unfortunate end in the semifinal, where a combination of extreme humidity, overwhelming nerves, and the punishing challenge of facing world number one Jan Nick Sinner left him physically depleted and nauseous. Draper, struggling to hold his racket due to excessive sweating, recorded 10 double faults. During the second set, he vomited three times, signaling his deteriorating condition. Yet, despite the physical toll, he kept the match competitive, losing 7-5, 7-6, 6-2, a testament to the 22-year-old's gritty determination. His performance was reminiscent of the tenacity that Andy Murray often displayed, showing that British men's tennis remains in strong hands. Though Draper's dream ended in defeat, his ability to fight through adversity was on full display. Before the match, Draper exuded confidence, saying, I've been wanting this moment for a long time. I'm going to take it all in stride. I'm up against the best player on the planet, so I'll have to play incredible tennis and compete like an animal. And he did, saving 7 out of 11 breakpoints and giving everything he had. However, like in Eminem's iconic song, Lose Yourself, where the artist raps, palms are sweaty, there's vomit on his sweater already, Draper exhibited similar symptoms under pressure. The sweat proved to be his initial downfall. Draper double faulted in the opening game and hit six double faults in the first set alone. Each mistake left him staring at his left palm in frustration, as if the racket was slipping. He even had a couple of rackets red dripped during a changeover. At 5-5, five five, three double faults allowed Sinner to break and eventually close out the set. Despite these challenges, Draper continued to battle, using his left-handed style to stretch Sinner wide, mixing power and precision with his forehands. From the crowd's perspective, unaware of his physical condition, the match still seemed winnable. At 2-2 two two in the second set, after another double fault, Draper expressed frustration toward his coaching box. His coach, James Trotman, advised him to switch rackets if it was slipping, but Draper pressed on and double faulted again. His perspiration was now visibly pooling on the court, creating abstract patterns that could have been mistaken for modern art at New York's MoMA. Draper mopped the court, but his shoes had become so soaked with sweat that at 3-3, three to three, umpire Mariana Veljovic allowed him to change them outside of the regular changeover. Despite his best efforts, the match was ultimately decided by Sinner's superior performance and Draper's unfortunate physical struggles.